Hello everyone. Welcome back to Gitro Tips. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the recently released game from Marvel that is Marvel Snap, which is having a crashing issue on Steam. And uh, very recently this is happening, so we're going to talk about the possible workaround. So I'm not uh, speaking much. Let me directly get into the point. The first one is all about you have to update your driver. So updating the driver, we can be done it in two way. The one is you just have to go over here in the device manager, right click, sorry, on the start, right click, go to device manager, go to display and adapters, expand this, select NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 with max Q design, right click and go for update driver, search automatically for drivers. This is what you have to do as the first step. So this is the basic step. Next step is all about you have to try the next one that is we can manually update the drivers for that i'll be giving link in the description for both nvidia as as well as for the amd if you're on the nvidia just go to this link then go to drivers now from here we can see this is where we have to download the driver the product type is geoforce and you have to select the respective model according to your pc's configuration so in my case is product series is geoforce rtx 40 series you have to select the product the operating system should be according to your PC or laptop. So my in my case, it is Windows 11. So I have to take Windows 11. Now I have to go for give every details and go for start search. When I go for start search, I get this. That is the version is 528.49 and the release date is 23.28. That is 8th is 8th February and the 2 is, uh, I mean, the month. So uh, this is the very recently around uh, one week back. This has rolled out. So it is both support for Windows 10 uh, as well as for Windows 11. The, it is in English US and it is around 814.59 MP. So now what we have to do is we just have to download this. After successfully downloading, we have to download and install this. And this is what we have to do. So this is the first step which you have to try out. So after installing the AMD, you have to try as the first step. So this is what you have to do. And once it is successfully done, it is all good with that. So this is the first step. Next one, if you're on the AMD, you have to uh, go for over here in the graphics, select the respective one frame here according to your configuration and go for submit. Now from here, you have to download. If you're on Windows 11, download Windows 11 64 bit. If you're on Windows 10, you have to download and install Windows 10 64 bit. So this is what you have to do. After downloading this one, try to download and install this. And this is going to work as well. So these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out as the first step. Moving to the next one is all about what we have to do is we just have to try with the next one. That is all about we have to verify integrity of game file. For that reason, we have to go to the Steam. Over here in the Steam, we have to select the game, right click, go to properties, go to local file, click on verify integrity of game file. So this, is, this will not take much time. So verify integrity of game file is actually if any files are missing and if any files are uh, missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed. If any files are corrupted, if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. Now we have to try this out. And as you can see, it is all validated. So it is good with that. So this step can also be done from your end. Next one is all about you have to run the game as an administrator. For running the game as an administrator, we have two methods. First one, you can very easily navigate it to installation folder from the Steam. For that, we just have to right click, go to properties, go to local file. And there is an option called size of local file over here in C, which is called browse. Select this one. So when you select this one, what happens is very easily you are redirected to this particular location. That is where the game is installed. That is this PC, local to C program file x86 steam steam apps common marvel snap this is where the game is installed and if you don't want to go via steam like this we can go with the file explorer that i'll show you that also for that what we have to do is we just have to go to this pc open local to see where the game is installed go to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam go to steam apps select or open common now from here go to over here, we have to go to Marvel Snap. Now we are on the same location as it is. So you can go it in two ways, either go from uh, Steam from here very easily, or you can go like this on the File Explorer. Now select the application over here, select this one, right click, go to Show More Options, go to Properties. Over here, we just have to click on Compatibility, 
and we have to click on run this program as an administrator and we have to go for apply and we have to go for ok then try to play the game additionally i would like to add one sometimes instead of launching the game from steam sometimes try to launch from the installation folder from here itself that did work for some people so we can try this out next one is all about we have to close background task if anything is running in the background that means close every overclocking applications for that reason we have to go over here in the start right click go to task manager now from here as you can see i'm using few apps which is actually using my specifications i mean the ram that is fine but apart from that if you scroll down you can see there are 85 background apps which is running in the background but from this few things like discord reward tuner and all those things drain out a lot of performance so if you find this in the task manager visibility over here, just right click and go for end task like this one by one. And if you can scroll down, do the same for LG Hub. If you find Reward Tuner, do the same because they drain out a lot of our performance, which is causing crashing issue. So try this out. Moving to the next one is all about you have to try with install DirectX. So I'll be providing a link in the description for DirectX that is over here. So this link, just click on this link from the description and download and install DirectX. After that, try to restart and try to play the game and that is going to work as well. Next one, you have to try with giving launch options in the, uh, so, I mean, you have to give a command in the launch option. So command is just follow this. That is over here, you can see this is Marvel Snap. So now what we have to do is we just have to right click, go to properties, Go over here in the launch option under the launch option you have to give the command that is dx11 give this command then try to play the game so if it's not working you give the command try to play the game if it's not working then we just have to remove this don't keep this just keep it like default like this you give the command try to play the game sometimes it will work but if it's not working remove this from the launch option okay that is very important as well Moving to the next one is all about we have to disable the windows for that we just have to go over here in the search go to control panel go to windows defender firewall now from here go to alone app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to add marvel snap so here we have to check keep scrolling so it is in alphabetical order so move to m and here we have to check whether the marvel snap is already added as you can see it's already added and continuously make sure that private and public both should be checked you have to do this and once if it's not added just click on allow another app click on browse and we have to go to the location where the game is installed open this scroll down program file x86 keep on scrolling down and navigate to steam now from here go to steam apps go to common now go to marvel snap select this one and add it if i click on and i'll be getting an error because it's already added so i have to close this and close everything after adding that try to play the game next one is all about we have to reinstall microsoft visual c plus plus so i'll be providing link in the description so you don't have to worry so just go to this link over here you will be getting options like x86 as well as x64 so if you are on x64 you have to download the respective one if you're on x86 you have to download the respective one for that you just if you don't know which one is yours just go over here in the search go to settings go to system scroll down and navigate to about now from here over here it is visible that is system type is 64 bit operating system that is x64 based processor now close everything so we we came to know what is our requirement actually once after that, download the x64 from here. Download and install it. After installing, try to play the game. And that is going to do some magics as well. Few things which I would like to make you add is, we have to perform a clean boot that did work for many users. So clean boot, you just have to go over here in the search. Search for system configuration. Now from here, go to services. And when you go to services, as you can see, we just have to go over here and make sure you have to check this that is hide all microsoft services and over here this is grayed out because i very recently i did this but for you it will be there so just click on disable all when you click on disable all what happens is all the things will be done so they will be asking for a restart if it is asking for a restart then what we have to do is just do a restart and try to play the game and that is going to work as well 
Next one is all about we have to clear download cache so that can be done on the settings. For that we just have to go to Steam over here at the top, click on Steam, go to settings. Now from here go to download. There is an option called download clear cache. Do this and they should be completely fixed. Now after that we have to do two things that is we have to if you are having any update just update the snap. That is going to work as well. Updating the snap did work for many users. So you can update the snap, I mean Marvel snap and also apparently you can make sure right click, go to properties, go to updates and make sure always keep this game updated as being set. Okay, that is very important. Next one we have to update the windows. So go over here in the search. Now go to settings. Now go to windows update bottom left and update your windows. That is going to work as well. So these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you are having an issue with Marvel snap crashing on the steam and how we can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye